Thank you. I'd be honored to help with the plan. Meet us there when you're ready. I'll skip the War Council, but I would like to see this breach up close, if you don't mind. Then you're... staying? Oh, didn't I mention? The South is so charming and rustic, I adore it to little pieces. I must admit, I'm surprised. We both saw what could happen. What this Elder One and his cult are trying to do. Not everything from Tevinter is terrible. Some of us have fought for eons against this sort of madness. It's my duty to stand with you. That future will not come to pass. There's no one I'd rather be stranded in time with, future or present. Excellent choice. But let's not get stranded again anytime soon, yes? I'll begin preparations to march on the summit. Make a willing, the mages will be enough to grant us victory. So Fiona and her malcontents are finally under proper authority. That's an excellent beginning, my dear. We will have to discuss how to administrate this new asset. Cullen doesn't have enough Templars to handle incidents. Some of the rank and file need to be trained. The last thing we need are abominations running amok. I knew you would have a proper grasp of the situation. I'll have a word with Cullen. We are reliant on his people, absolutely. There has never been a greater threat to mages than the Breach. Until it is closed, no one is safe. When you say mages are a danger, are you counting yourself? Of course I am, my dear. Every mage who joins the cause is taking a calculated risk, whether they know it or not. Magic is dangerous, just as fire is dangerous. Anyone who forgets this truth gets burned. You're preaching to the choir, Vivienne. Tell me something. You said once that you wanted to change things. What future would you build for mages? The circle has to be restored if we want to keep the peace. That's comforting to hear, but you'll find opposition to the idea even among friends. It's something to consider, my dear. The Inquisition appreciates your assistance in this matter, Lady Corbin. And my miners appreciate your business. You'll have your Illyrium by the end of the week. I should tell you, Ambassador, the Chantry raised some fuss when they learned about our arrangement. The Inquisition must certainly seem an audacious idea to the Grand Clerics. We hope to convince them it is a necessary one as well. I'll take my leave. Good day. Who was she, Ambassador? A merchant. I thought we should reach out to the Dwarves to secure Lyrium for the Inquisition's mages. According to Lady Corbin, it raised the ire of the Chantry. Oh. Access to Lyrium makes us rather more formidable than anticipated. We are becoming a challenge. Sadly, the remaining Grand Clerics appear to be consolidating the Chantry's power instead of comforting the masses.